Hi, this is Sahana. In this video, I'll show you how to create web API project using ASP.NET Code MVC. I'm going to use Visual Studio to create this project. I have opened Visual Studio, version is 2022. Click on Create New Project. Here you will get different templates. Choose ASP.NET Core Web API. This is the template we are going to use. Click on Next. Now fill in the details. Click on Next. First, you have to choose .NET Framework version. You have different options. I'm going to choose .NET 8.0. As of recording this video, this is the latest version. Next, we have to choose authentication type. We have three options, none. Second one is Microsoft Identity Platform and Windows. We are going to choose none, because very simple application without any authentication. Keep rest of the fields as it is. Click on Create. As we have used Web API template to create this application, Framework has created sample application for us. This is controller based API, not minimal API. Look at this controller folder. We have weather forecast controller. As we have used Web API template to create this project, Framework has created sample application for us. It has created sample weather forecast API. I will run this application. This is something you see when you run the web application. Again, we are getting this screen because we have used Web API template to create this project and Framework has pre-configured few things for us. This API is configured to use Swagger as a testing tool. This project template is configured to use Swagger. See, I will open program.cs file. Look at these lines. Here we have uh, builder.services.addSwaggerGen and again we have if the environment is development we are seeing use Swagger and we are seeing use Swagger UI. That, uh, that's the reason we have built in support for Swagger. Here we have controllers. Inside controllers we have weather forecast controller. This weather forecast controller has a method, this get method with HTTP get attribute. This means this method will respond to HTTP get request. Let's test it using Swagger. Here we have get and weather forecast. If you want to execute that method, just click on this drop down. Here we have try it out. Click on try it out. This method will not take any parameters. So just click on try it out. See, see. This is a response and here we have code 200 and description as success and here media type is text plain and this is the output. See, this is the output. This is how we can use Swagger to test the API. In future, when we build complex API, again, we can learn how to use Swagger for testing. This is just a basic understanding of Swagger. As we have discussed in our previous session, Web API itself does not have a user interface. Don't get confused with Swagger as user interface. This is not a user interface. This is something we have configured so that we can test the Web API. At the end, Web API is going to get consumed by some application. It could be a mobile application or some other application which is built using React or Angular or some other framework. Web API is something that exposes its functionality as endpoint. Instead of Swagger, you can, we can use different other tools like Postman and other tool to test the API. This is an API we have configured. Basically, Web API will not have user interface. By creating project using Web API template, we will have a starting point so that we can understand uh, with a sample application. It's not necessary to have this code. We can delete these classes and we can delete these controllers and we can build our own application. Uh, also, you can create Web API using empty project template, but you should know what are the necessary things that should be there in a Web API. In this video, we have learned how to create Web API project using template. There is a lot more to learn. Stay tuned. Thanks for your time. See you soon in the next video. Thank you.